tonight, Paul O'Grady and friends Jennifer Ellison, Philip Olivier and Natasha Hamilton have come to the Italian city of Palermo to search for ghosts and ghouls with the queen of all things scary, Yvette Field. They've already investigated a creepy castle where Jennifer and Natasha were convinced they heard a ghost. We have experienced ghosts. And where Paul and Phil put on brave faces when forced to call out to spirits while sitting in an underground chamber. Don't fuck a mess. What's up? Did you throw that then? No. Didn't you? No, I mean, but it's great. You see, Phil said, somebody's just thrown a stone. Now, if, if the house brick had levitated in front of it, I said, no, you're imagining that. So I said, no, 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 you've just stood on that. <laughs> They're currently conducting a seance in Palermo's Teatro Massimo Opera House in an attempt to make contact with the supposed ghost of a violent nun which is said to haunt this place. Is there any spirit people here now, any astral beings? Mother Superior, are you here? If there is a lady... Please come towards us. Make your presence known. If you don't like us here, if you don't like what we're doing in your house, please come towards us. Oh, is that you? Was that you? That was you, no, wasn't it? I, I jumped, yeah. But I don't know if I moved the table. I don't think I moved the table. Oh, I think there's something behind me that went from down there. Mm. Ada. Buonasera, madre. Ada. What? Tap onto the table. Yeah, it can. It was like a dog fart. Like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Buonasera, madre. Come sta? All right, now listen. Apparently, our medium has just told us that something's just run right past you, Jennifer. I knew what was behind me. Told I can't breathe. Stop picking anyone. Is anyone have been? I can't breathe properly. I don't know if because I'm freaking out. I told you she wouldn't like you because you're an actress. You're an axe kid. <laughs> Ready? I'm sat here like that. She dug around into me. <laughs> I've almost got stigmata. Did you hear that, Madre? Stigmata. You know what that is. Where's everybody's face? Right. Get your hand on here and don't start squawking. Do you hear me? <laughs> yeah, it's me <laughs> first. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Let's concentrate. Get the energy going. Flowing right round the table. Right. Come towards us. The bell. It's outside. I've just seen a flashing light behind. He's something to me again. <laughs> What was that? What was that? Shh, shh. Go and have a look. What Go and have a look. That? Go and have a look. Having heard strange noises around the seance table, the ever inquisitive Phil checks out the surrounding area for logical explanations. Get back to the table. Get back to the table. Get back to the table. And not for the first time tonight, he returns to the rest of the group, none the wiser. I know, we have to carry on now. No more screaming or leaping. Do you hear? No more. Feet, 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 feet. You'll be all right now. Nice, nice. Start again, Emma. Please, if there is somebody here, a spirit person here, please move this table. Move this table. Make it move. Put your hands flat on the table, slightly put it... Come on, make the table move. Make the table move, we'll leave you alone. No, oh, Mother of Christ. Make the table move. Make the table move. Oh, my Make the table move, it's moving. Make the table move, please. Hear that scream? Come on, I know it's a cheap parlour trick, but do it for us. Make the table move. Make the table move. Make the table move, please. Make the table move! 
Who the fuck's moving that? <laughs> Make it move. Woo! That was my chair. I'm Put your hands down and shut it. Make the table move. No. <clears throat> She's got a clap on with you now because you shouted at me. She's delighted I shouted at you. <laughs> There's an actress here, Madre, oh. and a singer, and a young actor, all disgracing what you stand for. Now, Paul's always been the leader of the group, but I think his leadership role is changing quite dramatically at this point. He's talking in Italian to the spirits. Buonasera, madre. Come sta? It's about him taking charge, about him taking control. Because if you're in control of a situation, you can do things to avoid certain very, very negative things. That was my chair. I'm Put your hands down and shot it. Now, at the moment, all he's doing is he's taking control of the group that he can see. But, of course, there are other things in the room as well, the spirits he can see. So it'll be fascinating seeing if he tries to take charge of those as well. Because people who take this route to deal with fear often try to control everything and not just the obvious things. Come on, make this table move. Phil, that's not now, problem. make the table move. A woman of Christ, she can't lift the table. Well, ha, please. Vicious, vindictive, malevolent, nasty, bitter, twisted, lonely old woman. Can't make the table move. Hear that? Yeah. I heard that sigh. Could you? I th that sounded like a woman going. <sighs> yeah, it did. I don't think she no. likes us very much. So that's a freak of I got feet out there. Oh. Right, come on, because we need to move on. Can we have the lights up, please, now? OK, everybody, what did you think to that? Well, I can't move the table, I'm telling you now. It could have been me, but I'm telling you now, I didn't do it. Yeah. And that's what it I'm here for, to yeah, be proven wrong. Right. So, what do we think it is? I don't the know. Non? I don't know. It went very cold and there was a, 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 there was an awful... I mean, there was less tension in the Middle East, put it that way, because it got quite tense. Did you feel it? Oh that really tense, I thought, at one stage. Like, I think we can get punched in a minute. I just think yeah. next time we do it, we need to focus. Yeah. Because every time we keep getting freaked out, stopping, yeah. and then it kind of dies down. We exactly. need to build the momentum That's to exactly, get more exactly things Exactly right. Happening. Well, listen... Sorry, it's my fault, because I just keep freaking out. But I've had loads of things happen to me, so... Yeah, well, it is scary if yeah. I got... Yeah, well, listen, that nothing's going to happen to us, OK? Nothing's going to happen to us. We're in controlled environments here, so... Let's just keep... Try and keep focused. With the seance at an end, Yvette decides it's time to leave the Massimo and head to the next spooky location. Dra drag me with that. <laughs> The third location in this evening's ghost hunt is undoubtedly the most horrific setting of the night. A place that even the experienced Yvette is not looking forward to. Set just outside the walls of Palermo Old Town and lying beneath the Capuchin Monastery is the Catacombs. This place houses the grotesque remains of around 8,000 men, women and children. Although the concept of burial within a catacomb is pretty alien to us today, it is less so in Mediterranean countries and is looked upon as a little more than just another form of burial. The Capuchin catacombs date back to 1599, when the local priest mummified a holy monk and put him on display for all to see. Not scared. In time, the locals wanted their relatives remembered in the same way. Soon there were hundreds of corpses. Some of the deceased wrote into wills details of specific clothes that they would like to be buried in. I can't, I've got to go, I've got to go, no, I can't, I can't. The walls are now adorned with the mummified corpses of silently screaming priests, professors, military officers, virgins and children. It was the corpse of a little girl that was the last body to be interned here. The remains of two-year-old Rosalia Lombardo was placed in the catacombs in 1920, and today her body lies remarkably intact. The undisclosed method for her embalming was invented by a doctor in Palermo, who took the secret with him when he died. It is only known it was based on the injections of chemicals. Rosalia still appears so lifelike that the locals have dubbed her Sleeping Beauty. Her angelic calmness is believed to hide the troubles of her tormented soul. Rosalia is just one of the many departed, entombed here, 
who are said to haunt this place. People have reported the sound of a child crying and voices of adults in conversation as well as bodies moving and people say they have also seen eerie shadows floating before them. This place is truly horrendous and no one can deny this is spooky by any standard. And it is to this place Yvette has brought Paul O'Grady and his friends. These are the catacombs. Basically, they are long corridors filled with embalmed bodies. Some of them hanging on the wall, some of them in coffins. The earliest body that was embalmed here was a monk in 1599, and the latest body to be embalmed was a young two-year-old girl in 1920. I just think, you know, dead people should be laid to rest, not gawped at by a uh, lot yeah, of ghost hunters. Uh, absolutely. No, we agree. But no one has ever come here and done an investigation before like this. Shouldn't it be? Also, you know, it's not like we've invaded a tomb. No. People yeah. come here on this a This is a tourist basis. attraction, tourist yeah. Attraction. Will it make you feel any better if I go down first? Go on, then. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. OK, I'll do that now. Coming up, the catacombs claim their first surprising victim. <laughs> It was just all the rows of them, and it's just, it's just such a shock. I am terrified. Natasha struggles to cope. Shut your eyes, Natasha. Shut your eyes. Come on, no, no, come no, on. No, we definitely can't. Got to go. Got to go. Can't. 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 And things get freaky for all concerned. <laughs> 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 